To navigate your Alex Instructor account, when you first log in, you'll be taken to your Instructor homepage. At this Instructor level, you'll see all of your classes at a glance, as well as some data and information on all students in all courses and sections. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see an Announcements tab with all the new features and announcements in Alex. At this level, you'll see some Instructor settings, as well as some reports and insights at the top of the screen. The Class drop-down tab and the Student drop-down tab across the top can be used to select a certain course or student within a course. Using the arrow in the class drop-down menu, you'll be able to select which class you would like to take a look at. Once you're clicked into the course using the class drop-down menu, this will be your course homepage. On this course homepage, you'll see tiles that will fill in throughout the semester with snapshots of student data and reports. There are multiple pages of these tiles and they can be moved around so you can see what's pertinent to you and your courses. Up in the top left-hand corner, you'll see the class information tile. On the class information tile, you can see the name and dates of your course as well as the course code. In this tile, you'll also see a picture of the ebook if you're utilizing a McGraw-Hill textbook. This is not only a picture, but a link to the ebook, so if you click on the picture of it, it will pull up the ebook in a separate tab. If you need to change anything about the name or dates of your course, you can use the class summary link in the bottom right-hand corner of this tile in order to do so. Editing the first box on the class summary page will be where you can change the name and dates of the course. There are many settings and details on this class summary page, so you may want to take a look through this page to ensure it meets your needs. Up in the top right-hand corner, you'll notice a link to the class tools. This is a shortcut to get to some of our most useful tools within Alex. When clicked into the class tools, you'll see the resources. If you're utilizing a McGraw-Hill textbook, you'll see resources that go along with that book, as well as uploading your own resources. In the class tools, you'll also find the student view, which can be really useful to see Alex from the student's perspective. To navigate around the rest of the Alex Instructor account, you'll be using the sub-navigation menu across the top. Class administration is just that. It's all of your course settings and information, including how to create new classes, duplicate classes, find your class roster, and so on. The Gradebook tab is a great way to see your gradebook as well as complete your gradebook setup for the course. The Reports tab has many detailed reports on your course and students. The Assignments tab is where you will create all the content and assignments for your course, and the My Questions tab is our question authoring tool. If you click on any of these pages and want to get back to the home page with the tiles, you can click the button all the way to on the left-hand side that resembles these tiles. Using the student drop-down menu, you can select a certain student account to see student-specific information. Once clicked into the student account, you can see the tabs across the top in the sub-navigation menu to view on a student level. If you're clicked into a student account and you're trying to get back to the class level, instead of clicking the green Home button, you may want to click the word Class at the top of the Class drop-down tab. This will take you back out of the student but still stay in the course that you're clicked into. The green home button can always be used to click out of that specific class and go back to your instructor homepage.